back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna do some science because we're scientists. Of course we are. Um, so this science experiment, I'm gonna answer one of my questions. My question is, well, you know you can grow your own food, but can a manual, which is me, grow their own food? with no help. So, bye parents, don't need any help. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I don't want to wake up to a jar filled with rotten seeds. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be growing sprouts. And I'm gonna take your um, tablespoon and um, jar with some water here. Just about this full is good. And then we're going to swirl them around. So now you're going to take your lid. It's either this metal um, mesh stuff or you can also use um, cheesecloth, like super clean cheesecloth. Are um, rinsed, we can pour the real I'm just getting the sides so all of them go. Whoa. gonna wait um, for our seeds for about four hours so see you when four hours is up now it's time to drain them and I do have a cloth handy because things might get messy here so Whoa, the water. Oh, kitty, get down. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. You're going to want to rinse these um, twice a day, every day. And um, in five days, probably they'll be ready. Growing my amazing, delicious looking sprouts. They look so yummy. And I've been growing these for about five days. So. And I don't know if you can see this, but there is um, lots of um, extra seeds on the top. So I'll teach you how to. And I just there we go. That looks a bit good. Look how much I have. Seriously, like I'm surprised. This was one tablespoon of seeds and I got like a full bowl. Like this is a pretty big bowl. To conclude my science experiment, while I'm nibbling on my sprouts, I say that a nine-year-old can grow their own food with no help.
absolutely delicious. I totally Rebecca recommend trying this um project it didn't take that long it only took like five days which is pretty good i mean wow just wow <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video please give it a thumbs up see you guys next